The impact on all of this from senior wealth advisor Courtney Dominguez. Uh, Courtney, I'm looking at this. I'm wondering what would, assuming this goes into effect, and that might mm -hmm. be a leap there. It might be, a, a, you right. and I touched on this during the break, a negotiating point, but what would we see and how soon would we see it? Yeah, and I think people are underestimating how much of an impact this would be. We're throwing out these numbers like $2.4 billion, which sounds like such a huge uh, number in our minds. But realistically, yeah. it's pretty minimal when you think about the U.S. GDP is $21 trillion with a T. If you just think about that, it's a pretty minimal impact that even if they go into effect, which I agree, it's even too soon to know if they will or if this is just a negotiation tactic. But even if they do, I don't think it's going to have as much of it in impact as investors as they're pricing into the markets right now. So for Americans who want to get their hands as quickly as they can on, on French cheese, French wine, and all of that, <laughs> I always tell them that California, some of the Virginia varieties are excellent, but they don't listen. Uh, it, it doesn't affect the cheeses and wines already here. It would affect those that are on their way here, right? Yeah, that's my understanding. Got exactly it. right. So I think... Yes, we might be able to get different cheeses, different wines, but as an investor out there, if you're looking at your 401k, use this as an opportunity because this happens like clockwork. Whenever the tariffs mm -hmm. hit news, people panic and they sell, but nothing has really happened right now. It's just the uncertainty of it. The economy is still on strong footing. We're still seeing solid data come out. So whenever anybody else is nervous, take advantage and just scoop up more shares while you can. Prices are a little lower right now. And we should point out that Hickory Farms is not being dragged into this controversy. I, I just throw that out there, folks. Processed <laughs> meats and cheese is just fine. Um, you know, another thing, and you can help me out with Courtney, we have this other wave of tariffs that go into effect on December 15th. I guess that looks much more likely now. I'm talking about the better than $250 billion worth of Chinese goods that make their way here. Mm -hmm. um, that would see a substantial pop in prices. Uh, what are you looking at there? Do you expect it to even happen? That's, again, I think it's too soon to see if it's going to happen or not happen. And I think it's more the uncertainty of knowing how long that's going to last. That's, that's overweighing investors, overweighing businesses, and how much they want to deploy their cash right now. So I don't think it's going to be a long-term impact. I think, again, you'll get some of these knee-jerk reactions from businesses and investors. But I think long-term, if the markets dip on that, use it as an opportunity. I don't see this as a long-term effect. By All right. You know, a lot of people get nervous because they say December has almost become like October, ever since last December, right, where we started out okay and then the floor fell out beneath us. A lot of people ran out of the markets because you're on the yeah. verge of a bear market. Um, you would have been wise just to stick with it and, and, and see it a great appreciation. Is that kind of your sentiment now? Not at all. I think that's something that investors do a lot is they think just because something has happened in the recent past that it's going to happen again. And so right now we are having a few down days in December and everyone's saying, oh, it's going to be a bad December again. I want to get out of the markets. I think it's way too preemptive to think that right now. It's just some headlines that are hitting and some nervousness. Nothing fundamental has changed with the economy or the market. So I don't really see that in the near future. All right. So when you look at the environment right now and you mentioned the tariffs, the, the, the impact has been minimal a lot of, because some have been delayed. Some have yep. been adjusted. Some have been absorbed by American distributors yep. and retail companies. But that can only go on so long, right? Yeah, which is true. But yeah. I think you kind of have to look at some of the other underlying data. Um, unemployment is still at 50-year lows. Companies sure. are hiring. And that's across the board. That's with minority groups, people with college degrees, people without them. Um, and com uh, I'm sorry, consumers are feeling that, and their paychecks are rising, while inflation has been pretty low. So even if tariffs hit, inflation's still low enough that our paychecks are actually going further right now, and it's not affecting the consumer as much as I think people are anticipating that it will. Do you think this is an overreaction today? Investors just keep calm. What do you what do you tell folks? Well, look, I think uh, I think your uh, your guest Courtney, who was just on with you, you did a did a very nice job of explaining that that the markets digest the news of the day. That's what they do for us. That's how they function. And markets are going to go up and down as as the news changes. Uh, our job at the SEC is to make sure that, that that digestion of information as it gets reflected in prices happens in an orderly, transparent, and fair way. And, you know, this is, this is ordinary market function that we're seeing today.